Alright, doing a Pokemon Showdown Live. Um, a lot of drops have happened, and the ladder just got reset IMO. So here it is. Uh, Clefkly, Salamence, Hydreigon. A bunch of threats got banned. I'm sure you guys have seen it all. Uh, in either case, he has big threats on his team. Uh, particularly that... For um, that Shuckle, the Shuckle just sits around and does nothing all day. Here, I'm gonna go for the Toxic, as I get a nice, a nice chill, um, Toxic on him. And, oh, this is no good. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up a little spike, just a single spike. As you go for the Cell Smash, hello? Oh my god, does he have rest? I swear to god, if this guy has rest, it's, I'm quitting, because I'm not playing this gimmicky garbage. Uh, let me get up at that little spike again. He has infestation. Okay, I got the spikes. Alright, this is not good. This is definitely, definitely not good. Um, powerful. Um, uh, now my gyro balls are gonna do, like, diddly. And I'm gonna get up another spike. That way his blast toys is forced to spin, and, and he comes in and he takes a quarter damage. So, uh, yeah. Oh, so my team is E-Belt Thunderous, because the double dance set, um... It's probably gonna get banned because of the double dance set, really. So I'm trying to use E Belt because everybody's expecting the double dance set. So Grass Knot pops, um, Swampert, the light. Wow, get chill! Uh, alright, buddy, I'm not doing this. Fuck this guy. Alright, I'm gonna get on the bone. As in the words of my boy Nathan, fuck Pokemon. Fuck it. Um, hmm. What a potential. He might predict me to lead off with that, uh, that Teeny. So I'm gonna lead off with that Arcanine. But I'm gonna lead off with my, uh, hmm. I'm gonna lead off with my uh, thunders. It leads off with the Electros. Interesting. Interesting. What is the thing they have to hit me with, though? A Giga Drain, Flamethrower, HP Ice. I don't know. In either case, I guess I go for the Volt. No, I'll actually go for the. Yeah, I'll go for the Volt Switch. If he predicts that and goes into the Donphan, he's uh very optimal, very optimal indeed. So I have that nice, nice, nice clean one loss. That's my boy saying. Alright, nice. Nice! Nice! Alright, now we'll go into my... My threat known as Hippowdon, I guess? Or I can go right into Coon. Yeah, I guess I'll go into Coon. And that way I can get a free scout off. Uh, as he turns out to be lefties, maybe... He's definitely not especially defensive Arcanine, which I think is the best set. The physical defensive one's good and everything, but the special defensive one because of Will-O-Wisp and Intimidate. Whew! Just all kinds of work. Let me see my boys on. As he goes into Electros, um, here I'm predicting the Electric type move, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and pull the switch into my Thunderous. Uh, now here I'm actually going to go for the Hidden Power Ice, predicting his Donphan to come in. As he stays in, maybe predicting very good play, predicting my switch. I honestly was about to do that. Now I'm going to go click that Volt Switch, that Switcher. And then, uh, let's see here. Yeah, boy! Alright, then now I can... Basically, I can go into my Suicune. He knows I'm E-Belt now, or he knows I'm not Choice at least. I could be Lefties, he doesn't know. Uh, gonna go right for that Scald, as he can Morning Sun all he want, but he's not Special Defensive, and he takes a chill 57%. And that Electros, I don't think it's Choice, because it took Scald pretty well. I mean, it took HP Ice pretty well, so he might be like, um, Assault Vest or something. Maybe I can get a burn on this, as I do. Very optimal, very optimal indeed. Now, I don't want this thing to set up on me, uh, so I quad resist his main stab, and I think they carry, like, return. As it goes for the heal bell, interesting. Uh, interesting play, in indeed. Here, I'm gonna go for the spikes. As he does that. Now, predicting the flamethrower, or... I'm especially defensive, but I don't want to take it. Okay, uh, my boy DMD can't do a lot. Unfortunately for me, he gets a burn, which will hinder me a little bit, but, you know, sh things happen. Now, I will pull the switch right into my Thunderous, actually predicting either that Arcanine or that Don fan to come in, because basically what I can do is go for the HP Ice. As he- wait, 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 wait a second, I thought I made a switch. Ah, I, s I see you, bro. I see you. 
Uh, I could just sack Hippo here. I could definitely, definitely sack Hippo here, but I definitely won't want to do that. Right off the bat. Hmm, what do I need here? I basically need to get a free SD up anyway, so what I'm going to do is go right for the Whirlwind. Maybe he'll predict my switch. Nope, he makes the good play. Goes right for that. Let me see here. You think, Thundy. Oh, I'm going to go right into my Virizion, actually, because I can, um... As I get my stealth marks, right? So I go right for the SD, and uh, he can't take me out one hit. <laughs> yeah, I eat that up for breakfast. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I think he dies to this. And then, actually, I really want a Leaf Blade. Really want a Leaf Blade here. I gotta run a cool calc. No, 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 no. I got, I'm just gonna look at his stats. Electros. Let's see here. Electros. Trust. It has base 85, base 80. So I'm pretty sure this close combat will kill. I didn't want to go for the leap play just because I didn't. Now he can freely go. He can't go into his Don fan. He can't. And he can go into his bayonet and get a shadow sneak off. But uh, yeah. Um, after that nice hazard damage, I'm going to go right for the close combat and this should take him out. What he could do is pull a switch into his bayonet, but or what he might he might be doing is putting me in a range where Shadow Snake would definitely definitely kill. So that's good. And Verzion just pairs up so well with my team just because uh, it patches up my weakness that uh, Hippo and well Rosewood actually shits on this team, but yeah. Um. So yeah. Um, yeah, not a lot, not a talking, but, uh, I think at this point, I just, if he doesn't send his bayonet, I just sweep his team. Wait! Ah, uh, Shadow Sneak. Oh man. Um, let's see here. He goes into Don Fan. I don't, an Ice Shard probably kills. Yeah, definitely. The Don Fan has base 120 attack. That is oh, nothing to mess around with. And here he simply dies to a Grass Knot, I believe. Um, yep, he does. I don't know if HP Ice would have killed, but Expert Boosted, uh, Grass not definitely killed, and at this point, I just cleaned up his team. I do not have the superpower. I want to use Mixed Thunderous, but, um, like I said, I believe I uh, sweep his team. Ooh, he lives! As he goes for the Crit Ice Beam. Very powerful. Very powerful indeed. Gonna go right for that Vault Switcher. And then, what I'm gonna do, actually, is go into my Suicune, because I don't want the Intimidate on my boy, Victini. So, uh... Yeah. I'm gonna go right for that that uh that nice and powerful scald. Maybe I can get a burn. I do not. He goes for that powerful knockoff. If you think about it, that actually did a lot considering it's non-stab. So uh yeah, what am my boys saying? Um let's see here. So this is a good this is a good first battle. Battle, battle. So I guess I'll get another one while I wait, right? So um he goes for the wisp. Um, maybe he doesn't have it. Alright, so he has a lot of big threats on his team. Uh, I guess Hip Howdon is... No, 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 Vic... Teeny. Thunderous is my best lead. As I get the Scowled with that nice powerful burn. And now here I'm going to click Calm Mind just in case he Destiny Bonds. As he does just that. And he loses, so that'll be that. He leads off with this thing. He could definitely recreate. He could U-turn. He could do a multiple of things. I'm going to go into my Suicune. I'm going to play it safe. If he's mixed... Okay, that tells me that he's not Scarfed because... Or oh, actually, no, that doesn't tell me anything. What am I saying? Anyway, I'm going to go for the Scald. Nothing on his team wants to take it besides um, Empoleon. So, yeah, that was, a good, that was a good game. So, I'm going to go for the Scald. And it does a clean 67%. And now, what I'm going to do here is actually click Combine again, predicting him to switch into Noivern. Oh! He goes into Empoleon. Okay, not a bad play, not a bad play, not bad, not bad. He might have the Grass Knot, I'm not sure, but I am plus one, so I can take a Grass Knot. He does not have a um, Ghost Type, so I can grab it to him with my Fortress, and if he does have a Ghost Type, I always have Toxic for that. And because Zone was banned, Fortress is just that much better, as he makes the very odd switch by going into his Victini. Maybe he's Banded? But I can live Banded Bolt Strike. No, he's Scarfed. I'm pretty pretty sure that's Scarf. So yeah. Now he goes into Ambipom and now 
And I'm sorry to say, but Amapom is a big threat to my team. It outspeeds everything on my team except Scarpictini. Um, but Fori has that nice natural bulk anyway. So what I can do is just go for that nice spin. And then I can get a Toxic off on that Donphan. I am specially defensive, so I can take hits from Noivern. Um, like, barring a Flamethrower or something like that. He might have Taunt. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to go right for that spin. As he does go into that Noivern. Uh, very good play on his part. I'm um, going to go right into my Hippowdon. I have no reason not to. He might go for the U-turn, predicting that, because they generally carry Fire Stab, as he does make that very, very nice play. Um, but I'm not worried. What I can do is pull a switch right into my Fury and get another spin off. I don't want... Uh, see, because I have two things weak to Hazards, I definitely don't want him getting Rocks up. As he makes a switch into that thing. Here, I'm just going to click Earthquake, and Polygon is a threat to my team. As you guys have seen, it can live... Uh, Thunderbolt, especially defensive, especially defensive and pulling can live with Thunderbolt after Stealth Rock and Spikes damage from E-Belt. I am timid, but granted that, you know, it's still like hella a lot. Um, so here, I'm going to, as he just forfeits, all uh, right, uh, let, me get, let me get into the battle. So yeah, this team is as bueno. Oh man, this guy is such a threatening team. Oh shit. I need to keep my hip out on around, like absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to lead off with my... Hmm. See, what I don't like about Rizion is I can't touch these threats. I wish I had Overcut on that. Oh, buddy, buddy. I'm going to lead off my Thunderous. As he left with Victini, and um, I'm going to go right into my Suicune. I don't want to lose... Suicune? Ugh. Suicune has to take so many hits from this man. Oh, what do you do, kitty? Uh, I, I don't... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not Scarfed, so... I'm going to pull a switch right into my Suicune, though, because if I get a Calm Mind up, his team gets not swept because he has a Sleep Powder, as he predicts me, and now I can go right for that CM. You guys feel me? And then he might go for the Stealth Rock with the Toxic. I'm not concerned about either, and I will just click that Scald. Yeah, Cloyster, I think Cloyster and Zygarde should have gotten the boot, because those things are just, whew, like, goddamn. I don't know why people switch in their Victinis on this. He might have the Bolt Strike. He could definitely have the Bolt Strike or the Zen Headbutt. In either case, I'll go right into my Hippowdon. Because if he's banded Bolt Strike, I definitely do not want to deal with that shenanigans. And here, what I'll do is actually get up my Stealth Rocks as he makes the very optimal play and forfeits. So let me get another one. Um, this guy's team is... Whew, he's got a professional player over here. And this thing is a threat. And he has a Celebi. Very... Very powerful core. I need to get rid of a Celebi. That's why I want to carry a U-turn. Um, so here, I'll just go for that Switcher. Because if he goes into uh, Celebi, I can just freely like shit on lives. And I need, I absolutely need to, ki to keep Virizion around for his Honchkrow. As he makes the switch into Raikou. Not exactly sure as to why. Because what I can do is go around to my Hippowdon. And threaten him out. He might go for the HP Ice. Um, I actually want to predict that. I don't want to go for the Rocks. Yeah, I'm going to go right into my Victini because he... If he goes for the HP Ice and he Specs or Life Orb, uh, it will only be doing like maybe 20%, maybe? So, um, yeah. So I'm predicting him to go into his Celebi. Okay, as he actually goes into his Crobat, okay. Um, that right there lets him know that I'm actually Scarfed. So what I will do is go right for the Bolt Strike. I have no real- I could just click that V Create button though. Hmm. Bolt Strike is 260. This is 180 plus stat. That's 9. It's 270. So V Create is still my best play. And um, Bolt Strike has a chance to miss. V, v Create does not. As he lives with just a smidgen. And I, th I don't think Brave Bird knocks me out though. Yes, it doesn't. Perfect. Okay, but he gets knocked out. So Brave Bird... Crobat, definitely a threat to my team because Crobat walls my Virizion as well as that thing. Now, I'll predict the switch out is super obvious, so I'm just going to go right for the V-Create. Yep, because, um, <laughs> like, who stays in, right? Except Jason, of course. Uh, but, no, sometimes you got to make plays because um, you don't want to give Hanscar that plus one, and if it does, I can just come into Virizion and then, just, you know, close combat or pull a double. So, it looks like Celebi is a threat to my team. Hmm, I might want to use E-Belt mixed thunderous as he goes into Raikou and once again my best switch he's not going to go if he goes for the HP Ice it doesn't matter again my best switch is my Hippowdon because um, I can take Specs HP Ices as he goes for the Aura Sphere as he turns out to be Life Orb alright buddy um, now here what I'm going to do is actually get up my I can't switch in on that Celebi so what I have to do is go for the 
Stealth Rock, as if he goes into Celebi, I'll simply Whirlwind him out. And Celebi is looking like a major problem with my team. I absolutely, absolutely need to keep my Victini around. Um, as he goes for the HP Ice. Okay, alright, buddy. Now, what I can do is just simply go for the Slack Off right here. Because I can... Oh, I can't live it. Alright, buddy. What am I doing? Oh, my God. I'm making such stupid plays right now. Well, here I know I can live a hit, so I'm going I'm to get up a spike. So, yeah. I'm going to get up a spike. And, wow. Celebi walls these two. So, Virzion, I need to change Virzion for something else. As he goes into his Empoleon, maybe trying to get up hazards. Uh, in either case, I can go into my Thunderish right now. <sighs> As he goes for the Hydro Pump. Oh, shit. Okay, I have to go for the Volt Switch right here. Holy crap. I'm especially Defensive Fury, so I can take them. Oh, wait. Especially Defensive Fury beats um, Celebi 101. Uh, I'm just going to go into my my Verzion. I have no reason not to. He goes for the Flash Cannon. Uh, wow. A bit a lot. If he respects, that could definitely be an issue for me. He should have gone for the Grass Knot. That's what I would have done. I kind of want to SD predicting the... Celebi switches. Nope, he sacks his Raikou, which honestly is perfect for me. Um, although now my Thunderous can't really switch in on electric type attacks. Um, so Celebi, what I had to do is I need I wanted to put Mega Absol on this team because it could trap Zatsu because my, my team relies on hazards. And I can magic bounce hazards and I can trap things like Celebi. But um, yeah, that's whatever. As he does go into Celebi, I can live... I can live a, an unboosted Psychic, and this thing doesn't get Psy Shock, so, uh... Okay, never mind, I can't. Alright, um... Well, I... Because he cannot get Hazards up, I'm gonna go right for the V-Create. Uh, this will take it out. He's... He might... He might take his Napoleon, but it's not worth, like, you know... You guys know what I'm saying. As he does make the good play and sack his Napoleon. So, V-Create! Um... What's he gonna do here? Well... All I need to do is... Oh, I can stall out his forges because I can just toxic that. Um, I'm not locked into V-Cree. Oh, I am. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go right into Foratress. As he goes for the Moonblast. And like I said, I am especially defensive Fory. So what I can do is just get up a Spike. No, I'm actually going to get up a Toxic on this incoming Celebi. Yep. That way, he's forced to switch. And then, even if he has HP Fire, I know I can live it. So what I'm going to do is get up another Spike, because after, um... Ooh! Buddy. Buddy. Um... Yeah. And then now he has to choose... I'm going to go for the Spike again. I don't care. I, I don't care. Um... Yeah, he predicted something. But that Spike is definitely useful. And now he has to go for the HP Fire or, um... The Switch. So... Gyroball's my optimal play here, and then I can just V-Create. And his uh, Forges is taken out by V-Create, unless he's physically defensive. And if he is physically defensive, I can just V-Create until he kills me off. And then I can go right for that, uh, that Thunderous. And then, um, now his, um, now his Celebi is dead. And after the Stealth Rock and Hazard, uh, Spikes, Forges is definitely dead. So this will be a GG. So that was a nice... I think this is the only game that we finished besides that first one. So I actually have to change something out for Verzion. Ver no, but Verzion is actually something useful against Honchkrow. Because Honchkrow, as much as I don't like Honchkrow, it's a threat to my team. He can protect all he wants to get lefties. But, yep. So, uh, yeah. Um, there's that. So we got some okay battles. So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Here's the team. Um, you guys can take this team. I'll give you guys so you guys can take that guys take this one. not my standard team this is just my thunder team it's pretty good but um it checks a lot of threats so especially defensive 40 standard standard dot sd version well i'll probably switch um crocoon with standardness mixed defensive hippowdon scarf teeny and e-belt thunderous although i might change this to mixed thunderous so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys later